Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Today what we got going on is uh, we've had a few requests about our Vivor. That uh, the Vivor chamber vacuum is a pretty uh, hot topic, I guess. Everybody likes that thing, and we get a lot of comments, a lot of uh, questions on it, and uh, a lot of emails and stuff like that about what it can and can't do. Uh, we're not sponsored by Vivor in any way, just so everybody knows. We're just uh, we have one, and we like showing what it'll do and what it won't do in case anybody wants to buy one. We bought and paid for this one with our own money, so it's it's not sponsored in any way. The last question we had about this thing was actually pretty pretty interesting uh someone reached out to us and if i can remember who you are i'm sorry i, I can't remember your name they asked if it would basically sell a whole chicken that, that's kind of interesting for us because we're going to be processing a bunch of chickens here pretty soon and well not a bunch probably 10 or 12 and i'm gonna let them get probably in a five pound range something like that before I, before i process them but uh anyway it's kind of interesting that they would ask that because i i hadn't really thought nothing about sealing them in that thing they make a heat shrink bag that you can put a chicken in and dip it in hot water and it just kind of shrinks around the chicken. Those things are pretty expensive. I've been looking at those. I mean, they're like 70, 80 bucks for those bags. They're pretty expensive. But, you know, we can buy these Mylar bags. You can get them clear and I'll probably get clear ones. I don't have no clear ones for this test or nothing like that. We have these green ones and we have the silver ones. I want to do a green one. Well, just because, I guess. Anyway, uh, we have these instead of the clear ones. So I'm going to put a whole chicken and it's about about four four and a half pound chicken and i'm going to put it in this mylar bag and we're going to put it in, that, in the v-board chamber back over there and we'll see how it does the other the other chickens they had the whole chickens I, that's one of the little cornish chickens i'm sure but that'd be perfect because we're going to get us a uh, a rotisserie so we have our own rotisserie chicken that, that'd be pretty good so with this being said, I'm gonna, I want to try it. I really want to try it, so we're going to give it a shot and see how it does. I'm going to put it in a bag. We're going to put it in a V-bore over here, and we'll see exactly how it does. I've got the settings. Uh, I'll show you the settings and all that stuff in a minute. But with that thing, the way that the lid's made on that V-bore over there, it's kind of got that hump in the middle on the top. You could actually get a five or a six pound, maybe even a seven pound chicken in that thing. You get some big chickens in there. I didn't think you'd get one that big in there. So that's the reason we kind of stuck with a four or four and a half pound chicken. I think it's like four and a half pounds or something like that. But like I said, it's a pretty nice little chicken. And anyway, I'll show you the settings. I'll put this thing in this bag. I'll stuff it in this bag right quick. And uh, I'll show you the settings on the V-Bore and we'll test it. We'll test it and we'll see what it does. What I'm gonna do, I, this thing actually, they when you buy it from a store hole like that, it still has like the, the gizzards and all that stuff in there. I'm gonna leave that in there. So, I mean, you never know. I don't eat gizzards or necks or nothing like that, but we don't. But you never know. Do. But we can save it for like the dogs, and I did wash my hand. So I put this whole chicken in here. Did you wash your hand? Well, of course. I washed mine before you did. Huh? All right. And what we have is one chicken in a sack. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim some of this off. These bags are really long. And unless you got the whole bag basically full, you, you probably get two, about two of them chickens in that bag turn sideways. Mm -hmm. Two of them that size, at least. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it that way, because I, I like packaging my stuff individually, like, you know, open it and use one chicken, and you know, you ain't got nothing in there that you gotta use immediately. So that's why I kind of like packaging my stuff. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I got her scissors here that matches all her other stuff. And I'm just gonna kind of get an eyeball figure about where I need to cut it. So the chicken only comes up about right there. So I'm gonna cut it about, about right here somewhere. Just shorten the bag down. That's all I'm gonna do, just shorten the bag. These things are easy to cut if you got some good scissors. My lower bag though. Yeah, perfect right there. Gotta open this up, put that down. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Uh, let me go over, I told him I'd go over to set one. What I have it on now is, uh, I have it on 25 seconds vacuum, two and a half seconds on ceiling, and you always wanna double the, the cooling time 
set that on chilling you got two and a half you always want to double it to five seconds on the cooling time let it cool that way it don't stick to the bar or, you know overheat anything so that's what we got to set at and you now we'll give her I'll leave a link to these V-Boards down in the video description. Like I said, if you don't have one of these things, it's a game changer when it comes to food storage and you know prepping and food preservation and stuff like that. These things right here are a game changer. They really are. If you have one, you'd really, really like it. So I'll leave a link down there if you guys want to check it out. Yeah. We don't make any money off of it, just so you know. I just, I do like the V-Board. Me too. Okay. And as you can see, it will seal the whole chicken and it's packed pretty good. All the iron's pulled out of it. That's ready to go in the freezer. You can label it or whatever you want to do. That's actually pretty good. Then you just stack this right in the freezer and just set it right in the freezer just like that. And actually, these bags right here, you know, it's a good idea to put them in these too because that'll keep it from being freezer burnt and everything else. These these Mylar bags, but that'd be really good against freezer burning and stuff like that. So that's actually a pretty good idea to use these bags. Right. Well, the other meat we put in them didn't yeah. freezer burn. Yeah. So that's actually a really good idea. Like I said, I appreciate all the comments and stuff like that. And that was actually a good idea that somebody actually thought out for us. So as you can see, Yes, it will seal the whole chicken. I got something else I want to try. Um, we'll go back over here. I got, I'll got. i show you in just a second, but I got something else over here I want to try to seal up too. So let's go back over here. All right, you guys, here in a little bit, we're going to be grinding up uh, some of this right here to make our own hamburger meat and stuff like that. What we bought is Angus beef. It's a London brule. That'd be a pretty good test. I mean, putting meat in it. That way, like, you know, a month or two down the road, we can open it up. And make sure, you know, show people that didn't freezer burn. I, I thought that'd be a pretty good idea. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm gonna open this up. I'll cut it in half. And we'll go from there. I'll, put it, I'll probably cut up one of those bags in half. That way we'll have two bags out of one. Yeah, let's, lose, let's use a silver one. That way we'll kind of use them both. She's just handing me a silver one. We'll use it. We'll put it in here. And we'll throw it in the freezer. So... Anyway, let me get the top of the cutting board. All right, one more time, guys. I can't brag up on these knives right here. These things are come from uh, Rural King. And these are actually some of the best knives we've ever bought. And they're, they was, what, a dollar, twenty-nine dollar a piece, something like that, yeah. give or take. And uh, this little knife sharpener right here come from the flea market over there in Sevierville. It's, uh, I think, Smoky Mountain Flea Market, I think, something like that. And this is actually one of the best knife sharpeners I believe I've ever used. And it was four dollars. Oh. Yeah, you pull it. Pull this thing through there three or four times like that and I mean it's got an edge on these knives hold the edges pretty good it's just I like keeping the edge on them I'm bad to prize with knives and bend the tips of them and stuff like that up too so when we first started buying the knives they were like a dollar and then they went to like a dollar twenty nine dollar yeah piece. Christmas time they have like bins of them out there and they're like you know dollar a piece or something like that at Christmas time for gifts and stuff like that but anyway uh, once again yes I did wash my hand What I'm gonna do, that's actually a pretty good looking piece of meat. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna cut it kind of like this in half. How many pounds of this do you know? A pretty good bit, wasn't it? Two and a half pounds, 2.5. That's a pretty good bit. So, right there's what we got. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take maybe this half of it and keep out. Uh, we'll put it back in the pack so we're going to grind it and make hamburger meat out of it the reason we got this it was on sale at go grocery when we passed through over there we would stop by go grocery and it was on sale it was in the i guess been in there for a minute i'll wipe this off my hands i'm going to stick this in this mylar bag yeah. yeah let me go ahead and cut it in half that way it's kind of because it's already about in two right there but i mean as you can tell if you hold that piece that side that meat right there these knives right here that's how sharp these things are. I mean, they're, they're absolutely sharp. 
go ahead and cut some of that fat off it if you want. Uh, uh, that, that yeah, we'll lay it right there. Okay. Now we're gonna do it basically just. That's what I was looking for. Poke it in this mylar bag. We'll put it in here. Poke it all the way down there. And make that good roast later. Yeah. We'll save it for later. I think I want to cut that. That all right here. Yeah. I'll probably cut that because I don't want it. You know what I mean? I don't want it. that much of a bag in the freezer. I'm gonna cut some of this bag off. Probably about the same as I did that over there. Something like that. So I'm gonna give or take about like this right here. I hate wasting these bags like that because if you seal them at the end, normally on these Mylar bags, you want to seal them as far as the end you can seal them because when you open it, you know, and use what's inside, you can reuse that bag again. But you know, being that it had meat and blood and stuff in it, I probably won't reuse it. That's the reason I don't care to cut it. So right there's what we're stuck with, or left with, right there. All right. Give her. And I want all the same settings. Yeah, still all the same settings as we did the chicken. There's it. Sealed it up good? So. I do want to give another shout out to Discount Mylar Bags. Uh, that's, that's some of the best bags we've ever used. Uh, these right here uh, come from Carolina Red Indian Supply over in Winesville, North Carolina. The, the green bags did. And these are some very good bags too. I mean, I can't say enough nice stuff about them people too. They're really good people to talk to and work with and buy stuff from over there too. So if you ever get, if you ever, anybody ever goes to Winesville, North Carolina, stop at Carolina Red Indian Supply. If you're a prepper, uh, if you have a prepper mindset, that's a very good store to go to because they, they hook you up with anything that anything you want prepper related, they got it. All right, guys, one thing I was wanting to show you is this, like I said, this is four, four and a half pound chicken here. It's four, four and a half pound chicken. And that's where it sits in there right there. The bag up here and it seals on this bar right here. It'll seal right here. As you can see, that's just four and a half pound chicken. So you got plenty of room in there right there. You could get a six or seven pound chicken in this thing easy. So the reason I'm showing this is just to answer a question is like, will it seal a whole chicken? Yes, it will seal up to a pretty good size chicken the way this, the way this lid is made right here. That's very, very thick plastic right there. If it'll fit under here, this lid will shut, it'll seal it. Alrighty guys, just kind of sum everything up for you. We took a whole chicken, a four and a half pound chicken and put it in this Mylar bag and the V-board vacuum chamber, it, it sealed it very well, as you can tell. As you can tell, it sealed it very well. Uh, you can get a much larger chicken in there. I kind of showed that too. You probably get five, six, seven pound chicken in there. I, I know you'll get a five or six pound chicken in there. I'm talking seven, eight pound chicken, probably so. Because there's plenty of room under that little hump on that lid. And as I was saying about everything else, if it'll fit in there, it'll seal it. So if you can get it in there and get that lid to close, it'll seal it, no matter what you put in there. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank the, you know our subscriber that brought that you know, ask us this question if it would seal a whole chicken or not because that's that's something that's very beneficial for us too because I hadn't thought nothing about it and we're definitely going to process a bunch of chickens and this is going to be the way to go because as I said a minute ago, this won't freezer burn. I bet you this won't freezer burn. As thick as these bag, bags are, you put it in the freezer just like it right there because when it, as it seals it, it'll kind of flatten it out like it did right there. You know, it kind of shrinks it down and flattens it out. So you get a lot of freezer space in there and just put you a piece of tape or whatever on there and date it right on it you know, write what it is and the date and stuff like that and put it in your freezer and you get a bunch of these in your freezer. So as you can see, yes, it will seal the chicken. And as I showed earlier, it'll seal a very big chicken. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's free to do, it won't cost you anything. It'll kind of help us out a little bit, get more of these videos out for you. And if you have any other questions about the Vivo or anything like that, uh, feel free to shoot us a message or email, anything like that. All our contact information is down in the description there. Don't hesitate to send us an email or message or anything like that, whatever you need to do. And if, you know, if you want to see it around something or try something, I don't care a bit. Try it just like this chicken right here. On. I'll put it through there. I mean, worst thing to do is just blow it up, I guess. I mean, I don't know. We'll buy another one. Whatever. But anyway, guys, thank you. We'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, watch our videos. Bye.